Good morning friends. In this video, we will discuss one of the question which is given in gate 2014. Okay. So if I want, if you want to understand this question in a better way, I request you to go through the all the previous videos related to the relation algebra so that you will understand the concept in a very easy way. And even this question, if you know all the concepts properly, what are the concepts I have discussed, if you have gone through those videos, you can answer this question even without my help. Anyway, I will help you if you cannot solve it. If the people who have gone through those earlier videos, you can pause the video and solve it by yourself also. If you can solve it without any problem, I will be the first person who will be very happy. Okay, thank you so much. So we'll start the question. What is the optimized version of the relation algebra expression? They have given some relation algebra expression. Then, uh, then they are asking us find the optimized expression. Yeah, no problem. If they have given some expression, we can easily find out the optimized expression. Where a1, a2, because they have given a projection operator a1, projection operator a2, and they have given some selection operators on a relation R. Where a1, a2 are set of attributes in relation R with a1 subset of a2 and f1 and f2 are boolean expressions based on the attributes in r what is the meaning is that they are saying that a1 is subset of a2 then only it is valid otherwise it is invalid is it clear if you have attributes a and b here if you have attribute b then only it is correct otherwise it is not correct okay if you have a b here if you have only b here then it is wrong because if you have only one attribute in the relation, then how you will bring the another attribute extra which is A? That is not possible. So they have given correct. And F1, F2 are the two boolean expressions, they are same. Because selection operator, you will apply some condition here. Okay, so that's what they are telling. Now they have given four options and they are asking which is the right option is correct. Okay, phi of A1 they are saying and they have given phi of A1, some selection operator they have given projection with selection projection with selection now we will discuss which is the right answer now first let me tell you one thing if you have applied a condition and then condition okay suppose you have condition 2 on a relation r then you apply condition 1 now first tell me whether it is condition 1 and condition 2 or condition union condition 2 what is the meaning of condition 1 and condition 2 if it is condition 1 and condition 2, both the conditions should be satisfied. If it is union, any one of the condition is satisfied also, okay. But what is the right one? If you are applying the condition 2, meaning is that on the original relation R, first you apply the condition 2. So what are the tuples which are satisfied this one? They will come as an output. On top of that one, you are applying the condition F1. So meaning is that it is condition 1 and condition 2. So, what I can say, I can eliminate, here it is saying that union, this one I can eliminate and even this one is saying union, I can eliminate. If it is union, it can be like condition 1 or condition 2. Is it clear? I hope you know what is the condition 1 or condition 2 and condition 1 and condition 2. When I can say the condition 1 and condition 2, if both the conditions are true, then only you will get the output as of correct okay means both the conditions should be true then only you will get the result as true if condition r means any of the condition is true you will get the result as true but here we are applying the condition 1 and the condition 2 so i can eliminate the option b and option d now among the option a and option c which is the right answer we will see now if you see that they are saying that a1 is subset of a2 so if you have a comma b here if you have B here, what is the attribute you will get in the result? You will get B, not AB. Is it clear? If you need see the projection operator, on the result, you are applying a projection. So, if it is A comma B attributes are there here, the entire result will come as attributes A and B and some tuples. On that one, again, you are applying the projection with attribute A1. So, you will get only output as B. If you see that, what I can say, A1 is subset of A2. So, obviously, you will get what are the attributes which are present in the A1, they only will come. 
So here it is saying A1, here it is saying A2. Which is correct? A1 is correct. So the right answer is A. This is wrong. Okay. So the right answer for this question is option A. So I hope you have understood with my explanation. And maybe maximum I can say that those who are the students have followed all my videos related to relation with algebra. They would have solved this question without my help. Okay. If you have taken my help, it is okay. But because it is a gate question. So it will be a little bit confusing also. Don't worry. Don't demotivate yourself. Okay. You are doing well. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you so much. And one more thing I want to request to you all that please give your feedback. Whether it is a positive feedback or negative feedback. Give it in the comment section so that if it is a negative feedback, I will correct myself because in the world, no one is perfect. Is it clear? Everyone will do some mistakes. So if you feel that I am doing some mistakes, you give that one so that I will correct myself. Okay. If I am doing very well, even that one also you mentioned, those comments will really motivate me to teach further. Okay. Thank you so much.